is intensifying. Uh, we heard it from Mr. Kaznov. There are 168 separate raids being carried out overnight uh, in basically all the major cities of France, uh, Lille, Strasbourg, Lyon, Grenoble, uh, Marseille, Toulouse, and of course in the Paris area as well. Uh, now. France, of course, is under a state of emergency, and that gives police special sort of special powers, additional powers to go in and target places where they think they might have potential suspects or people who might be able to give them some information. Now, of those 168 raids, uh, we know that 104 people have been placed under house arrest. Uh, there were 31 separate cases where arms were seized. That includes a rocket launcher, military-style uniforms, uh, at least four automatic or sort of military-grade weapons. Uh, about 20 people have been either arrested or placed under formal investigation. Mr. Kaznov also said at least six people might see their French national nationality revoked as a as as a as as connect, connected to these investigations. Uh, there's also a separate and very intense investigation happening over in Brussels in a suburb of Belgium, and we'll be hearing from our correspondent on the ground with the latest on that. And it's important also to specify that these raids aren't necessarily connected to Friday's attacks. It's also the authorities uh, wanting to perhaps prevent further ones cracking down on, on, on people possibly planning further exactly. attacks. So what's the latest you've got for us on the, on the suspects of Friday's attack? Well, Paris's public prosecutor has said this morning that five of the seven suicide attackers who were deceased in Friday's attacks have been identified. Uh, now, one of the names that came out this morning is Sami Amimour. He was one of the Bataclan attackers, uh, born in 1987 from Drancy in northern France. He was known to intelligence authorities. He'd been questioned in 2012 about possible connections to terrorist organizations. He was also the subject of an international arrest warrant. His family this morning is saying that he traveled to Syria about two years ago. Three of his extended family members are in custody as well now. Uh, the second Bataclan attacker who has been identified now is Omar Ismail Mostefai. Uh, he's a French national born in Courcouronne near Paris. Uh, he was the first one who was actually be identified. We had his name over the weekend. He was known author to authorities also as someone who had been radicalized, uh, although he had no record in France of potential terrorist links or activities. Turkish authorities are saying this Monday morning that they had flagged him up to their French counterparts as a possible terror suspect. Uh, that was back in 2014. The Turkish authorities say they received no response from their French counterparts until after Friday's attack. Uh, another name that we've gotten from judicial sources, Bilal Hadfi. He's said to be one of the men who blew himself up at the Stade de France. He lived in Belgium. Uh, another name coming out from the Stade de France is Ahmed Al-Mohamed. Now, this is the name that was on this Syrian passport that was found outside the stadium. Um, this, the, the passport itself identifying a 25-year-old Syrian man. Uh, now, the man who, who, was, who was with the passport, uh, although we don't know that if the passport was authentic, we don't know if it was actually his. Uh, he himself, though, had been registered in Greece. He'd come through Greece uh, and registered with his fingerprints. So we know that this man in particular had passed through Greece as a migrant, apparently, uh, although we don't know if that is his actual name, if the passport really belonged to him. We've also got the name Brahim Abdel Salam, uh, one of the men who apparently attacked at Boulevard Voltaire. Um, now he is one of three brothers who are being sought in this in this investigation. Uh, one of the one brother is named Mohammed. He's reportedly being questioned in Belgium, and then there's the third brother uh, who's reportedly still on the run. That name is Salah Abdel Salam. Um, and that's the man whose picture is being, being circulated, uh, the man who reportedly rented this car in Belgium, believed to you, believed that what that was believed to have been used to escape from the Bataclan, um, described potentially as very dangerous. Author people are being asked to contact authorities across Europe if they happen to see him. Uh, it's important to point out his involvement in the attacks has not actually been established. Uh, he was actually stopped by police while he was in this, uh, this car on Saturday morning. They had no idea that he may have been connected or wanted in in, as part of this investigation, and he was let go. There were also some earlier reports earlier this morning that he may perhaps have been arrested. Those have now been disproved. He is apparently still at large.